Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for June 20th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair first. This pair closed up today. It did create an inside bar. Uh, look for this pair to potentially go as high as 80.75, possibly as low as 79.63. Look for some resistance around 80.50 and look for some support around 79.95. Now, looking at the Euro USD pair, this pair closed up. It also created an inside bar. Uh, we are looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 144.45, possibly as low as 141.16. Look for some resistance around 143.73, and look for some support around 141.26. Now, the pound US dollar pair, this pair closed higher. Uh, overall, this, this pair is moving sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 163.30, possibly as low as 160.42. Look for some resistance around 162.35, and look for some support around 160.75. Now, the US Swiss, this pair closed down, had a pretty decent range compared to the body of the candle. Uh, it is moving sideways overall. Look for it to potentially go as high as 08561, possibly as low as 08354. Look for some resistance around 05525 and look for some support around 08395. Now, as far as news analysis go, we have the Greek Parliament uh, voting vote of confidence tomorrow. No time given. Uh, of course, that will affect the euro. We also have at 5 a.m. Eastern Time the German ZEW survey, which is an economic sentiment uh, indicator basically being released for June. Uh, and the consensus on that is that things have dropped dramatically from 3.1 to negative 3.0. So quite a jump there could affect both of those things could hard hit the euro. So make sure to keep an eye on the euro USD. We could see uh, that move to the downside in a rather strong, quick fashion uh, through tomorrow's session if those things uh, come out negative uh, against the euro. Now, what am I looking for during this next session? Well, we have the U.S.-Japanese yen pair that has created an inside bar. And let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, so if you back out a little ways, you can see that we are at an area of support. Uh, we have this low and this low that uh, the prices come down to this area fairly close together from a PIP standpoint. Uh, we're looking at about a 12 PIP range there between the two. So we have an area of support that's about a 12 PIP uh, range overall. We do have the potential for this pair moving to the downside. And you can see, let me adjust the chart. If it breaks to the downside, we have some opportunities here to profit. If it breaks down, basically we're right at a 0, zero level, right at the 80.00 level, a strong psychological area of support. Uh, that's why we've come down to it twice now uh, and have moved a little bit higher. If we break it today, you know, break it by like 79.97 uh, or 95. We should come down fairly quick, about 22 pips uh, to grab profit there. If you want to go to break even and see if it'll go another uh, roughly 20 pips, you could down to the 79.57 mark. So I do believe uh, we could see a strong day uh, as we did a session or two ago and see it move strong to the downside. If that's the case and it moves down, uh, we could definitely see it break through there and be able to profit from it. Hope that helps. And until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.